Thank you. Here's one of those great Notre Dame stories. Michael Roach was a self-proclaimed triple domer and a Chicago lawyer for 50 years. And he spent much of the last four years of his life tending to the city's homeless on Lower Wacker Drive. He was known by name Mike and to others, St. Michael. He passed away unexpectedly this past February, and his son, Mike, is here to talk to us about his legacy. You know, Mike, I have the privilege of covering Pope Francis, and he talks a lot about how we need to go to the peripheries. And when I heard your dad's story, that's exactly what I thought of, because who would think but the peripheries exist right in the city of Chicago on Lower Wacker Drive. They do, Ann. They do, Ann. Lower Wacker Drive is a city within a city. It's, uh, it's amazing, it's unique, and it is, it is where my father found God in many respects. And, and that is a city where there are many homeless. What drew your father to Lower Wacker Drive? I think he uh, reached a, p a point of in, in his life where he wanted to do something and he felt obligated. And I think um, when he read the article in the Chicago Tribune on Thanksgiving and made the decision to actually pick up the phone and contact the, the organizer who was doing the Lower Wacker Runs, Pat Angelo. What drove him was a sense of mission and it was also what he learned during his undergrad and law school days here at the university. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind that what drove him from not just simply reading the article but actually taking action was his Notre Dame experience. So what did he do that earned him the nickname St. Michael and Notre Dame Mike? St. Michael was given uh, to my dad by Pat Angelo uh, because when I was speaking with Pat over the past few months after my father passed, Pat Angelo explained to me that what my dad did was in many respects help save Pat because Pat was running out of steam. He was doing the lower wacker runs three, four, sometimes five days a week, and it was just unsustainable. So when he got that call from my father offering to take Thursdays, uh, it tremendously helped Pat. It sustained him, and that's why Pat nicknamed him St. Michael. And he would bring burgers and coffee to the homeless men and women who were living down there. You picked that up now. Why I did have... you decide to do it? I want to honor my father's legacy, and I know how much how important it was to him. Uh, the last experience I really had with him, where I had seen him, like his passion, his energy, his zest for life, yeah. was when we did the Lower Wacker Run um, in middle of December, right before Christmas, and it really it energized him and it fed him. And I want to honor his legacy and set an example for my for my children and other people as well. I think there are a lot of different places where you can see the face of God, when you can be close to God. Do you find God's presence down on Lower Wacker Drive? Yes. Yes. It's, uh, it's you know, I'm an attorney. I'm not going to find God in, in my office, right? I'm not going to find God reading case law or arguing, uh, making legal arguments before court. Where do I find God? I find God when I do the Lower Wacker Runs every Thursday, and it's a profound experience. And now you bring your son, Jack. Yes. Well, okay. Jack actually, and Jack had gone with my dad, Rocky, uh, that's his nickname. He had gone with Rocky a lot more than me. Uh, and Jack and my father had a unique, special bond that way. So Jack, Jack enjoys it just as much as I do. Mike, thank you so much. Thanks for Thanks, sharing Anne. your story. And thank, thank you for all the good work you do in the city of Chicago. <laughs> thank you. That's thank really you. impressive.